Hey guys, remember to hit like if you liked the video, subscribe if you want to see more, and leave a comment so I know what you really think about me. Enjoy! Hey guys, Venix here, back with more The Devil's Womb. Uh, so last time, a lot of weird things happened. There was a psychiatric hospital. We were having a nice dream, then turned bad. Uh, there was also a thing that if I didn't save... Five times I got a different ending, but I'm not going to do that for now. I'm going to play the game, remember when to save, and then go through it again and show the secret ending at the end. But for now, I think I was going in here. The seed of evil had sprouted, hindering the traveler's journey. His lantern became heavy by all the sins he had committed. The weight of s was such to make it seem like it had... Oni Eric Lantern merged with the ground, almost as a symbol of the man incapable of ascending because he lived for too long under the black sun. What? All it would have taken would have been a drop of pity to appease his soul, which is incapable of harboring worldly resentment. What? The world has ears, but it doesn't know how to listen. I don't have a mouth. And I need to tell you. Okay, so I need a drop of pity? Butterfly. It's dark here. Luna doesn't see anything. Better not step on something I can't see. Okay. What's up here? That was loud. I was going to make a comment about how it's like, oh yeah, it's getting smaller and smaller. Claustrophobic. <laughs> Pay tribute to the Red King with the Decide Scepter to wake up from this nightmare. Uh, okay. It turned into a monster when I left. Everything is different now. I live a works of charity and mercy. I'm ignorant and poor. I don't expect you to pay me tribute, but make lot. God bless you if you do. It's a chair. Listen to your fakeness, or I will kill anyone who pays tribute to any other king that is in me. What's with all the tr Don't listen to the mediocre left and right. To the mediocre left, right, and left that is going backward ahead towards the left, pay a tribute cheese to me. Hmm, tribute cheese. I'm as great as the mountains. You will inherit my lands. Every wish will be fulfilled. So pay me a tribute and you will be saved. Uh, the others are similar to stupidity. I'm different from them. Pay me a tribute or let you go. No, so I'm supposed to do this one, right? But how, I don't know how to pay tribute, so that's not helpful. Hi. Everything you hope for no longer exists. I'm not using that voice. Oh my god. Everything you hope for no longer exists. Everything implodes around me. Everything implodes. I'm talking to you. If you no, no longer know who you are, if you realize that you know something in your head doesn't work, was it an illusion or reality? What? Oh. Oh, are you okay? This game's cool. <laughs> what, was what was that? You tripped? Illusion or not, the edge of the table is certainly real. You know, I appreciate humor in horror games. I do very much appreciate it. Tension breaker. There's something weird in these shrubs. I did a thing. 
I don't... Who's saying this? I don't want to die alone with no purpose. Poor flower, it's drying. Can you hear me? So you have the power to talk to our flowers. Who are you? Where do you come from? I, I mean, it's Luna. I woke up in a strange room. I don't really know anything else. I'm a f I'm scared. I'm sorry to tell you this, little girl, but you have ended up in a dark place. There's no room for flowers here. What are you doing here, then? How'd you end up here? I'd love to tell you, but I could wither in the meantime. Bring me some water and I will help you. Okay. This, this is who I am. Luna is a monster. Okay, so now I need water. I need a drop of pity. I need a piece of cheese to offer as tributes. See, the moment they add the ability to hide, I get scared because that means something's going to happen. A chimney. It's full of ash. The red eye sees death as if it were light. The green eye sees poison as if it were natural. The blue eye sees the sea, and in the sea they will burn out. The yellow eye sees the stars shine. Let there be light. Feels like that would have been more impressive if it rhymed. You obtain the glass flask, yay! <laughs> Am I safe? Oh, hi. What's up? I just want to give you a tip on how to proceed. Why is everyone running away from me? Luna, Luna thought she wanted you wanted to harm me. It's always the same story. Earth doesn't realize the agonies of her kids until she is forced to devour them crying. Uh, okay. How big is this place? Uh, save game. That's a weird painting. There's a lot to unpack here. That lady is holding a garden gnome. There's a seagull taking a shit. This guy on the right might be the Riddler. There's a skull with a hula hoop. Burn wood and I won't dignify you. Burn my enemy's meat and I will call you to the test bed. What? Okay. Uh, I'm still looking for water. I'm looking for a drop of pity still. Uh, something I can use as tributes. There isn't a wrinkle on my face, but my heart has many years. I'm not like them. I'm I'm burning in hell. Water. No? Okay. Can't use a glass flask to get water? A giant chalice. There's some wood inside. Okay. But I don't have a fire starter, so that's not helpful. Hey, more books. Beware the painting. Is there any language that Yuna doesn't know? So, I s mm. I sort of don't like that. Like, maybe that was me being stupid. But I don't really like it when there is a... No hint kill. Like, there's no real hint that this will kill you by stopping there. Uh, alright, it's a children's 
joke book. Paradox of the Presenter. To fly when the broadcast is... I don't get it. I don't get it either, honestly. Uh, Paradox of a Spiteful Boy. I won't tell you! I, I still don't get it. The mute tells the deaf guy that the blind guy is spying on him. That's not funny, Luna is sad. Okay, once the fog vanished, the past days of torment of the restless tears disappeared. Now the morning that rises projects lines of trees in the pink sky. My thoughts. Between the sounds of man who waking up, a bus leaves to go who knows where I might hippogriff I run away to distant galaxies. I erase boredom from the days that never happened. I take rainbows of flowers in the cosmic silence. In a moment of new harmony, I will be air into the sky. Starlights! I will have a big house where nothing will be missing. Did I just have a stroke? A lot of this dialogue... Was that necessary? Oh... Okay... There's a small book, sad music under a sunny sky. I tell for a book, let's give it a look! Oh god, the topsy turvy man. Time to go tomorrow, and now there was a Armanoshi Armanoshi in the perfect state to be happy, the right state for the right people, definitely not for someone like him. That man is funny, you had the crepes of the landscape, hand of the land, sword, light, and shadow, unite the whole in a new and soft light that smells like paradise. Will it also be like this for me now that Armanoshi took it away from me? What am I looking at? Save the game. It's dark here. Okay. Uh, through here. I'm less and less sure in what I can see. Red and red, black and black. What is left that is real. The world appears is now square and flat. Have I maybe gone mad? Uh, yes. The moment you start talking in like weird rhyming poemy stuff, you probably have gone mad. Okay, so now I need to go bring this t to the flower. Can't wait to see one jump scare awaits me. Oh, God. This game's a nightmare. You're still here? You're not waiting to kill me? Find that bookcase? Fine. Sarah Dan Re Revere. What? Thank you, creature. If it weren't for you, I would have withered by now. And don't remember how I got here. I do sense, though, that something bad happened. Something painful. Black. You, however, I see that for a child with no memories, you know a lot. What? Maybe past learnings are the only things that, for some odd reason, you haven't forgotten. How do you... No, Luna doesn't remember who she is! I didn't say that. As a flower, I'm able to do things that other creatures don't know of. I'm able to absorb knowledge from the world I implanted in sounds, colors, all the way to seeing the soul of the person who waters me. That's oddly specific. In this ground, this ground is cursed. I've tried to know all that I could of this place, absorbing water, but with bitter surprise, I found that the ground here is drenched with everything but my streams. I would tell you the bits that I've learned in this place. Once there was a man from Manducket, wandering unambiguously on a pavement of light. Malice made him angry and tearful. The man lost the path of light. 
As the years went by unexpectedly, darkness made him stronger. Solitude persevered him from the stains of iniquity. He killed his enemies and with his own strength he built a giant labyrinth where he locked himself in. Thirst of vengeance had diverted him from that path, from the road that will led him towards peace. He is not here, he is hidden in the deepest part of the prison that he built himself. This is just one of the many possible rooms. Those were a lot of words, but are you saying this is the labyrinth? This place isn't even a start. The rooms of the labyrinth are more than the grains of sand of every ocean. What? And this person, where is he? Can I help him? No. Luna. Your intentions are pure, you're sensitive, and you're incapable of doing wrong intentionally. I read that in your soul during the moment you watered me. But despite your kindness, unique and un you will never be able to find the man that created all of this. His body is remote, it lies in the depths of the labyrinth, but his soul has ears everywhere. Delighted of love and death, and he will show up. Love and death? What is that? It's a sympathy, a musical piece. If we could find an instrument to reproduce the piece with it, his soul will show up in front of us. I see you own an enchanted flask. Now it's just normal glass bottle. Whatever liquid you insert in it won't ever run out. Therefore allow me to instill my petals of life by laying them full in the water inside your flask. Make good use of it. Okay. Before you walk out that door, I must inform you that you are not alone in this place. There's a profound evil that goes around these rooms. You can't beat it. Dusty from infant screams, bewitched by their vigor. He would try to make his anything that isn't like him. What? Who is it exactly? Though Aeon's us creatures have preferred not to call him by his real name, but by his essence that isn't but an indefinite mask of cosmic squalor, we have coined the name Black Noise. Luckily he's a chaotic and blind being, so when you see him run, find a place to hide. But, but why me? I'm just a poor girl that speaks in third person. That sentence you spoke in first person! What? Like I said, you are an incredibly smart flower, and I can assure you there is a reason for everything that is happening to all of us. Not knowing the reason though, all that we can do is justify what we each want. I can sense though that you will be the one to end all this. I don't understand, first person. The time for you to understand hasn't come yet, but take comfort from this. <laughs> take comfort from this! Disappears. Luna, I'm here. The, the flask. Yep, I've condensed my soul into water. What? I want to tell you is that you are no longer alone. My spirit will accompany you and it will always be near you thanks to the petals that I dipped in the water that you used to quench me. That's a long sentence. Now fly, little camellia. Okay. Okay, so I'll stop the episode there. I'm confused. I'm intrigued. But confused. But thank you guys so much for signing by watching the video. If you like the video, do the thing that does the thing, lets me know about the thing. And until next time, bye bye.